Well, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for one day's trading, the um, 7th of uh, November 2016. Please be sure to visit CFDs.com for your trading needs and uh, certainly download the latest app, which is at TradeSignal, signal, TradeSignal.com. Your signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now um, in terms of uh, markets this morning, certainly have pushed higher, impressive thrust. Uh, this morning on the back of obviously uh, Hillary Clinton news regarding her uh, shall we say vindication okay certainly being absolved of any wrongdoing and that certainly has sent the dollar higher which in turn has sent sterling and uh, the euro lower uh, and then obviously that's sending the uh, European equities higher today uh, gold certainly pulling back as well although copper certainly is moving higher impressively okay so uh, risk on sentiment certainly being uh, embraced in terms of uh, news flow this morning, let's just look at the economic data. You have um, the BOJ minutes overnight, no real fireworks. Uh, Nikkei certainly ended in, ended lower. The USD JPY certainly got a lift from the uh, Hillary news, uh, and we'll see whether that, that can be sustained. USD JPY currently trading around the 114.5. Uh, the uh, data this morning, German factory orders certainly failed to uh, meet expectation, actually came in negative. So therefore, uh, certainly triggered a risk aversion. Okay, you had the uh, UK house prices coming in potentially stronger. Again, that's certainly helping sterling uh, potentially form a base and move higher. So that certainly is the uh, two major uh, news flow. Although there is one more from China in terms of their FX reserves suffering a uh, drop. So the biggest drop since January. That certainly isn't good news. The last time we had that drop, we had the equity market certainly heading south and going south very very fast. So. Certainly take that into consideration as well. You are looking at risk aversion there from Chinese FX reserves certainly uh, dropping as well. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture, given the fact that uh, we've uh, certainly uh, elaborated upon the um, fundamentals. Uh, daily chart, Jim and Dax certainly have an impressive short squeeze. You've had a pivot low of 10,200, 10,210, and now we've had a pivot high of 10,450. So very, very impressive thrust higher. 60 minute chart you are approaching gap fill very hard from my understanding or my perspective for that gap to close it's going to be very tough i'm certainly not expecting that at all to close okay so again looking for this resistance above here to, uh, to obviously remain open uh, you certainly have um, a gap that's uh, left below now uh, let's just uh, certainly uh, indicate the gap here which is at uh, 10 to 60 so certainly watch out for gap fill below on the German DAX 10 minute chart certainly seems to be uh, from my perspective uh, over bought now okay that uh, certainly is uh, overdue a potential pullback and you are seeing resistance being held around the 10450 level so we certainly are above pivot R3 as well so certainly overbought okay and again looking for a pullback okay in terms of the uh, French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC for you. Daily chart certainly is into gap fill, therefore indicating resistance. 60 minute chart, you certainly have horizontal resistance here, so therefore looking for a move lower. 10 minute chart, you have an unfilled gap that's been left below. You certainly have filled the gap above, and therefore looking for risk off. Okay, so again, looking for a potential move lower from my understanding and my perspective, if and when trading the, uh, the actual French CAC. Now, this is a potential trade setup that I'm going to take. I'm looking for a potential short position and uh, a weaker prices in the French CAC. Uh, FTSE 100, a daily chart is an inside bar, although it has pushed above up to 6800 to knock out a few stops. Certainly not for my stop off, a stop at 6799. Okay, so again, inside bar thus far, Article 50, the uncertainty, political decision. It certainly is a, a lot of uh, concerns that are surrounding the, um, the actual FTSE 100, and you have sterling as well. Sterling is another factor. 60 minute chart at the moment you are previous support equals resistance so technically you are holding there okay so bear that in mind and a 10 minute chart you are holding gap fill resistance as well so certainly indicating risk off okay now from my perspective if we do have a move, can move above 6800 again i'm certainly looking to short this uh, uh, index and looking for weaker prices okay so uh, the unfilled gap below at 6690 remains the target on the downside if the market does start to flush or alternatively obviously you have resistance above which is at 6805, 6820, then you have in the 20, 20, 35 to uh, 40 zone. So again, those are the resistance levels to watch out for. Okay, so in terms of the uh, economic data or the next potential move for the markets, you have retail sales that have just come out from uh, Europe, certainly on the weaker side. 
although uh, investor confidence certainly came out on the stronger side okay uh, no more data really from the US uh, it's really going to be um, the actual reaction of uh, US markets and how that will dictate on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading need and certainly take advantage of the additional bonus goodbye now.